to demonstrate just how versatile and portable streaming sticks are, we're on a day trip to London. Look, even the crew are travelling light. <laughs> like all visitors to the capital, we'll be taking in some top attractions. Uh, Park Square. Park Square. But before any of that, time for a spec off on the South Bank. Otis, before you is the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. Not only does it have 4K resolution, it's compatible with Dolby Vision. So you get those punchy HDR visuals. Impressive, John. Before you, you see the Roku Streaming Stick 4K. And this offers resolution exactly the same as your Amazon Fire Stick. And is AirPlay compatible? Worried? Not in the slightest. My Fire Stick supports Wi-Fi 6, the latest super-fast, must-have form of Wi-Fi. I assume yours does. Mine only has Wi-Fi 5, but the USB cable does double as an antenna, extending the Wi-Fi range. Now, you and I could stat off until the cows come home, but we know that it's all about performance in the real world. At which point, the ever-so-witty producer delivered the first challenge of the day. Ooh, thank you on a stick. Find out how easy it is to navigate to certain content. Right. The key to simple navigation is a clear, easy-to-read layout. So first we'll compare what our stick's interfaces look like. First off, it seems quite a complex interface on the, on the Fire Stick. You get promoted content at the top, which has a bias towards stuff you find on Amazon Prime. Underneath the promoted content sits the favourites bar for access to your most used apps. Or, if you prefer to search by genre, you can do that too. Quite a variety of subjects. I've got to say, John, in comparison, the layout of the Roku is much simpler. Like your phone, the Roku's interface focuses on apps, or as Roku call them, channels, which you have to open to access content. If I continue to scroll down, uh, there's the option to add more channels, so mm. then you become aware of what further streaming platforms are available. Fox News, for example, Marquee TV, Vivo. Quest Plus. Time to see which is the most efficient at finding content. Otis and John, please search for the Jungle Cruise. Well, there's a surprise. We need to find a film set on a boat. And after that, we'll use our Stick's voice search to see how well they can recommend similar titles. To begin with, though, it's fastest fingers first, using the on-screen keyboards. Search, search, yeah. While using a remote to search can be laborious... The Jurassic... Both sticks manage to quickly suggest results after entering just three letters. Here we are, it's the Jungle Cruise. Oh, it's Jungle Cruise, though. Oh, there you go. Yep, that's yep. it. So, nothing to choose between them when hunting for a specific film. But what about when you don't know what to watch? Movies, Movies like, like Jungle, Jungle Cruise. Cruise. Both sticks also have voice functionality built into their remotes and only take a few seconds to process our commands and suggest movies. Ooh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. My Amazon stick suggests three similar movies to Jungle Cruise, whereas Otis's Roku suggests just two, although it does also offer some additional suggestions from YouTube. And not only that, the movies suggested on my Roku are arguably a better match, sharing parts of the same cast. Jumanji, is that like... Well, The, the Rock is in Jumanji. Oh, I so. you. And having similar age ratings. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Unlike John's Amazon, which suggests a 15-rated movie, even though the initial title is a 12A. Meaning this round goes to Roku, giving it a 1-0 lead. Next up on our Streaming Sticks testing tour, we're venturing north of the river to the world-famous Piccadilly Circus for a spot of lunch. Yeah, it should be good, I think. Yeah, oh, I'm looking forward to it, yes. yes. And to continue the jungle theme, we're dining at the Rainforest Cafe, where another stick-themed challenge awaits. Oh, good. Ooh, look at this. The previous challenge was delivered on a lollipop stick. Wow, that is a... a French <laughs> stick. I think I see the theme here. Discover which device offers the most versatility. Ooh. 
So, after already finding out which stick is best at finding content to watch, Challenge 2 is all about what else it can do to keep you entertained. So, let's start with gaming. After all, if you're on holiday with the kids, you'll probably want to keep them entertained. Good and idea. my Fire Stick has a 750 megahertz graphics processing unit built in. And not only that, the Amazon has over 2,000 games on offer from its built-in app store. My Roku doesn't advertise its graphical prowess, and it's not just there, it's lagging behind. I don't have as many games on offer, 438 to be precise, but you can purchase third-party games. And uh, I decided to go with Pac-Man Champion Edition. Ooh, I've got that too. Well, shall we have a play and compare? Yes. We're both using our remotes to play the game. Ah, no, I've been eaten already. Although it is possible to pair with some third-party controllers using Bluetooth. And it seems we need them. Ah, it's, it's not that responsive, to be fair. <laughs> see, see whether you think this yours is more... OK, it? good idea, John. Let's go. Oh, oh no, yours feels terribly if anything, slower. If anything, less responsive. Yes! yes I, I think yours is a bit better. So, the Roku is a bit more responsive and the Amazon has more games. But we're not finished yet. What about music? Spotify, BBC oh, Sounds, TuneIn Radio, Tick, Tick, Tick. Yes, I've got all of those. Oh. And Amazon Music, have you got that? I haven't. But what I do have is a way of listening to the TV without disturbing anyone in the same room. You can connect a pair of headphones to your smartphone and then Roku will stream that sound to your headphones via the app by passing the TV speakers. Good, but my Fire Stick's even better because I can just connect Bluetooth headphones directly to it. Don't need to bother the phone. Which is clearly a neater solution notice. As well as games and music, both our sticks offer a wide range of apps for a variety of interests. It looks as though there is a, an app or a channel for absolutely anything you could dream of. There is an autism-specific channel. I could learn French if I wanted to. I mean, if you want to turn your baby into an Einstein, you yes. can here. But I see, I've got a lot of the same. I've got baby Einstein as well, for example. My Amazon, though, has 18 times the number of apps the Roku has, more than 15,000 of them. I mean, we can actually spend years going through all these apps to try and find out which selection is better, but, I mean, but it's, clearly they both offer a, a wide selection of a sort. So, which stick impressed the most in Challenge 2? I mean, it's interesting, it's very close. Gaming's pretty even, but I think the fact that I can get Amazon Music, the fact that it works well with Bluetooth headphones, I think... On this round, the fire stick just wins. Oh, you're going to edge it. Oh. Yes. Could I persuade you to agree on that? Ooh. Go on, then. Yes! <laughs> Begrudgingly, I agree that the Amazon should take the win, meaning it's a draw as we head into the final challenge. Join us later in the show to see which stick will reign supreme as we take in the London skyline to test how well they stream content from our phones. So far on our whistle stop tour of London testing streaming sticks. Permission to come on board, sir. Thank you very much. An ice lolly stick instructed us to see how easy it was to navigate on our devices, with my Roku coming out on top. I've got to say, John, in comparison, the layout of the Roku is much simpler. And the torturous stick based challenge intros continued, this time on a breadstick. Discover which device offers the most versatility. Ooh which, over a spot of lunch inside the Rainforest Cafe, resulted in a point for my Amazon, thanks to its abundance of apps. I mean, we could actually spend years going through all these apps. Leaving the scores neatly placed at one apiece, with just one challenge to go. And for that, we're going to one of London's top tourist attractions. Afternoon, thank you very much. To record the city skyline on our phones and see which stick is easiest to beam our footage to. As well as using these sticks to stream content from the major media platforms to your TV, they also let you cast your own content direct from your phone, tablet or laptop. So, for Challenge 3, we're going to shoot some HD video of the magnificent London skyline using two popular smartphones. Then we'll attempt to cast this footage to our sticks and onto the TVs. The stick that makes this process the easiest wins. Right, I want to take a shot down the Thames. Look. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm going to sit down on this. <laughs> My knees are going to go. And once our footage is in the can... Don't jump up and down, please. <laughs> no! And Otis has stopped messing around. It's time to see which stick is easiest to get our footage onto. 
First up, getting video from my Android phone onto my Amazon stick. Out of the box, you can't cast video straight to the Fire Stick, but I can mirror the screen on the phone. While casting and mirroring both allow you to stream content from your device to your stick and TV, when mirroring, your device's screen is duplicated or mirrored on the TV. This means while you're watching your home videos, any notifications or calls will interrupt your experience. When casting, however, you can continue using your phone while it streams content to the stick in the background without interruption. Enable display mirroring. OK. There it is. Ah. So, despite a lack of true casting, mirroring my Android phone's display is simple to do, something that can't be said when using an iPhone. I'm afraid the Fire Stick doesn't support the iPhone natively. You have to actually download another app. Ah. A mixed set of results then for the Amazon, with iPhone users having no way to get their content onto the stick out of the box. Now, let's see how my Roku stick handles streaming from an iOS device. With my iOS device, I have, of course, AirPlay. AirPlay is Apple's catch-all term for casting and mirroring content from their own devices. The Amazon has no AirPlay support, and while the Roku does, when using it to stream footage you filmed yourself on an iPhone, you'll still be interrupted by calls and notifications. With my iPhone, Ooh. tap AirPlay, select streaming Dream stick. stick. Aha! There voila. There, it is. there we are. Would I be able to do the same with my Android phone and the Roku stick? Yes, John, and just as easily. And as this challenge involved capturing our own footage, let's summarise in the same way. So, John, I think it's fair to say that the Roku has won that challenge, right? Yeah, with so many people owning iPhones and the fact that the Fire Stick doesn't support that natively, yeah, I reluctantly have to agree with you. Yes. So, with better flexibility when it comes to sharing videos, it's my Roku that takes the final round, winning today's challenge two points to one. Results.